Hello and welcome back to Grim Survival. I'm going to see if I can get this video to go online. Wish me luck. A lot of them have been taking 24 hours or more to process, which is why I've been having delays in videos getting online. Thank you, YouTube. You're being so helpful this week. You're awesome. Anyway, this is going to be a quick reminder video. As the title gave away, do not get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed. Um, a lot of people get overwhelmed when it comes to prepping, and I've made this video before. I have. I've, I've talked about this subject at least once probably many times prepper fatigue is a real thing being fatigued and overwhelmed from prepping can be a very bad thing for anyone who is into prepping or feels they need to prep you can become very overwhelmed by this you can become overwhelmed by the thoughts that crop up in your head when you start thinking about all the possibilities and things you need to prepare for um a lot of people will take the biggest scenario nuclear war let's prepare for that pandemics which we haven't seen yet <clears throat> let's prepare for that um, economic collapse uh, grid down situations global global situations national situations um, shutting down the power grid for two weeks three weeks four weeks months years at I mean people just will go into the most extreme I guess that's the best way to put it when you start prepping if you just started out or if you've been prepping for a while even the most extreme scenarios can crop up in your brain you start thinking well you know an EMP could happen from a solar flare and wipe out the power grid for the entire planet we'd go back into the dark ages I'm gonna need years and years of food until I learn how to grow crops and you know these are the things that be become very overwhelming because you're thinking about things that are are bigger than you should be thinking about you should not ever be thinking about those types of things in my opinion when you start prepping or while you're a prepper because all you're going to do is get yourself overwhelmed instead of doing that my suggestion to you is think of a small scale event go away bug sorry about that bugs are flying in my ears doors open um yes think of small events Prep for small things. Don't prep for the national, global, whatever. Don't prep for that. That is going to be overwhelming. You want to prep for smaller things. So, for example, economic collapse. Don't don't prep for economic collapse where the entire economy just goes under and you can't buy anything anymore. Don't prepare for that. That is a major situation. Instead, think of the smaller scale. Prep for, what if I lose my job next week? What if whatever income I have dries up and it takes me uh, several weeks or even several months to get back to work to back to making money? Prep for that. Instead of a large economic collapse, you're just planning for a few months ahead of time and just in case you know your job goes under that's one example several other other examples instead of preparing for grid down situation national power outage lasts for years that's that's overwhelming to prep for that instead what if a storm comes through knocks out my power for a couple weeks alternate scenario there it's a smaller scale so it seems easier to prep for you you need a couple of weeks okay but keep stacking on to that couple of weeks even if that's what you're preparing for a two-week power outage due to a storm once you have the two weeks keep stacking it another two weeks another two weeks eventually you find yourself prepared for a grid down situation a prolonged one year more power outage you are prepared for it because you prepared for the little things and you just kept preparing for the little things so do it on a small scale don't think of a major big earthly you know life-changing event think of the small shtf events that we see every single day every day somebody has an shtf it could be you tomorrow it could be me tomorrow every single day it happens prepare for the smaller things power outages that last a couple of weeks water supply i mean if you're on the west coast in anywhere near you know southern california nevada you are seeing water shortages already you're seeing major water shortages so <clears throat> instead of preparing for living in a desert that never has water which you probably should if you live there anyway you should prepare for what if my water dries up and i can't get you know water for two weeks what if that happens how am i going to procure water and you know there's certain areas where rain doesn't fall very often so you know if you live in that type of climate you should know by now but it goes right back to it prepare for the small things don't get yourself overwhelmed by preparing for some major event prepare for all the little things that could happen it's much less overwhelming 
and it's easier to do it will seem easier you won't get burnout on it you're just picking up a little bit extra every time you go to the store that's the biggest recommendation and as always i recommend you have at least one year supply of food for every member of your household food and water don't forget the water you can go a lot longer without food than you can without water i am trying to procure some supplies i actually i have some a lot of natural material i could build this water catch system that i'm planning on building a lot of natural material i'm trying to make it look prettier just because and make it out of pallets something i can actually reuse and do other projects out of i just don't have any pallets so i got i'm trying to find some uh for free <laughs> because i don't know how much pallets cost but i'm pretty sure i can't afford them anyway that is one of the things i got going on i'm going to be building some uh, survival i things i don't know how what how to I don't know how to explain it. Um, just items that are going to be necessary in any kind of SHTF situation. How to procure water, how to catch rainwater, how to, you know, purify things. Just these types of videos I'm going to be able to do in just this little area that I'm stuck in currently. But, yeah, that's things to look forward to in the future. I am going to keep doing the news type videos. And I am making a Patreon video that's going up right after this one. And, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Just short, quick. Remember, don't get overwhelmed. Just be calm just take it one day at a time take it one small thing at a time you cannot prepare for a global event tomorrow you can't do it if you haven't been doing it for years you're not going to get there tomorrow unless you have millions and millions of dollars and can do that most people don't prepare for the small things what if my car breaks down and i can't go anywhere for two weeks see well what if your car never works again is the larger scenario so if you're prepared for your car to be down for two weeks, and if your car never works again, you probably got that covered. You know, just probably. And this has been James with Grim Survival reminding you, question everyone, question everything, especially YouTubers and government officials. See you next time.